Hey everyone, I'm Kelly with the Suburban Soapbox and today we are making some cream cheese sugar cookies. These are the best sugar cookies ever because they're soft and chewy and perfect and they're great for cutouts. So if you wanna make sugar cookie shapes, this is the recipe you need. They hold their shape in the oven and they don't spread out. So let's get started. To get started, you're going to need all-purpose flour, granulated sugar, vanilla, one egg, butter, cream cheese, and salt. And we're just gonna whip together dough in the stand mixer. If you don't have a stand mixer, that's totally fine. You can make the dough with a regular hand mixer and you'll be good. So to start, we're going to put our butter into the stand mixer bowl. And you want your butter to be room temperature. This will ensure that your butter is mixed perfectly and it gets smooth and you don't have any of those buttery clumps in your dough. <laughs> there we go, second one. So that's one cup of butter and your room temperature cream cheese. And you just want four ounces of cream cheese. And the cream cheese gives it a great tang and keeps your sugar cookies nice and soft. So we're just gonna turn that on. Once your butter and your cream cheese are softened and whipped just a little bit, I'm gonna scrape down the sides of the bowl and we're gonna add the sugar. You're gonna scrape down the sides of your bowl again. This is just to make sure that you don't have like big pieces of sugar or butter or cream cheese that kind of creep up on you later on. Just make sure you scrape it all down and then I just wipe it off on the beater. So now we're gonna add the egg and the salt and the vanilla. Now we're gonna slowly add the flour while the mixer is running on low. And you wanna keep it on low so your flour doesn't just go out all over your kitchen and you have a big mess to clean. And that's it. So now your sugar cookie dough is done. I like to let my cookie dough rest in the refrigerator for about two hours to give it a, a little bit of time to set up. All that butter and the cream cheese is really soft right now, so you really don't wanna roll it out too soon or it'll be really sticky and hard to work with. Now that my batter has chilled, I like to let it sit out for about 10 to 15 minutes at room temperature. It has had time to set up, but now you wanna roll it out and you don't want it to be rock hard when you roll it out and the butter and the cream cheese will seize up and become solid. So you wanna make sure you just give it a little bit of time to get acclimated to the room. And now we're gonna roll it out and you can use any shape you want. These are fantastic for Christmas, but we use them like all year. So I've made heart-shaped cookies for the kids for Valentine's Day and you can find those cookies on my website, thesuburbansoapbox.com. Just search for the cream cheese Valentine sugar cookies and you'll see them there. So we're just gonna take a little bit of the dough and put some flour on your surface so that your dough doesn't stick. And then flour both sides of your dough so it doesn't stick to your rolling pin. You can flour your rolling pin, but it's honestly, it's just gonna come right off onto your sugar cookie dough. So just get it nice and coated in the flour so it's not gonna stick to your rolling pin. And now we're gonna roll it out. So you wanna roll it out to about an eighth of an inch. Flip it. And just take your time. This dough is really soft and delicate, so it's easy to work with, but it's also easy to overwork. And now when you take your cookie cutter, like any shape's gonna work. I just have snowflakes because they were easy to find. You wanna dip them in flour as well because you don't want your cookie cutter to stick. And you're just gonna press down firmly and give it a little shake. Push all the pieces out so they don't stick to your cookie cutter and give it a little zhuzh again into the flour. 
and do the same thing. And you're just gonna keep doing that until all your cookies are cut out. And if you have any that are stuck to your surface because the flour was kind of missing in that area, you can use a spatula to kind of work them off. And then you can reshape them once you put them onto your cookie sheet. And then I have a cookie sheet here that is lined with parchment and you don't need to coat it with anything. So just use your parchment paper as your liner and we're just gonna put them onto the cookie sheet. And now they go in the oven for about eight to 12 minutes. So you just wanna check them and when they look like they're set up and a lightly browned around the edges, then you're ready to take them out of the oven. Okay, so there are our snowflake cookies in the middle of not winter, and you can let them cool for a little bit on the baking sheet. That makes it a little bit easier, a little bit more manageable to pull them off when they set up. But I'm going to attempt to take them off now and just get them cooling. And if you want, you can certainly put sprinkles or any kind of decorations on that you want before you bake them. These I'm going to frost later with some royal icing because I love that so much. And you can check out that recipe on my site as well. Okay, now our cookies are cooled, so I'm going to use the royal icing to frost them. And there you have it. Fantastic sugar cookies that are chewy, sweet, and amazing. Mm. So buttery and perfect. The tang of the cream cheese is excellent. If you like this recipe, please be sure to give me a like and subscribe to our channel. For more easy recipes, be sure to check out the suburbansoapbox.com. Thanks again. Mm -hmm.